Hey, video friend, <laughs> Liz Cleva from Closet Play Image here. So excited to come to you with a uh, September copycat style. And this month, this copycat style, I want to riff on and just go a little overboard with three of the fall's biggest style trends. So let's talk about those today. You can really easily see what is tying together all of this month's copycat style kind of inspiration images. And that is burgundy slash wine slash deep red, big cat print, whether that's leopard or cheetah, right? Animal print and denim. Those are all, those are three three of the biggest trends for fall, three of the most wearable trends for fall. Um, and there's some of the trends that are inspiring my wardrobe for this fall. If you're interested, I will, uh, Tack on at the end of this video, a uh, link to my fall in style inspiration video. And um, you can kind of see what pieces I was pulling and what I'm using to inspire my wardrobe this fall. Not buying anything because it is a shopping fast year for me, but pulling those pieces to the front of my wardrobe and giving them a little extra love. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about these inspiration pieces and what we've got here. So love this, love these looks, these three looks right here. Unfortunately, those warm animal prints do not work well for my cool coloring. They make me look like something the cat sicked up. In this case, the big cat sicked up. Um, so that's not going to work. I do have um, a cool animal print fuzzy coat here, but it's not it's not going to be warm and cool enough for that for months yet. Although I may just have to style it up just for fun. Maybe we'll see. Maybe I'll throw that at the end of the video as well, just for you to see. Um, so what am I going to do? Well, so I'm going to need to get my animal print in, in my accessories. Now I have shoes, I have a belt, I have a bag, all three together is going to feel like too much, but let's see. Um, and so for me, it's probably going to be blue denim rather than black denim. Um, I do love the structure here. For example, on these blazer looks with the wine and burgundy, really cute. This look down here is fun. Burgundy kind of pleather top, jeans and animal print shoes. That's probably more or the combination I'll be going for, but not the vibe. That's a little less structured, a little messier than I, I don't want to say messy, but just a little more relaxed than I want. So probably going to be, okay, probably going to be my Levi's, which I'm actually wearing right now, some sort of wine colored top, um, and animal print accessories. I wonder how it's going to play out. It's like I said, probably not gonna be all three. It could be a belt, could be shoes and a belt. Maybe it'll be two out of, ooh, two out of three. Maybe I'll go for two out of three. We'll see how that goes. So stay tuned to see how the look for September sorts out. So let's see how that look sorted itself out. Um, I actually, I'm just really tickled with how it worked out. There were a couple of changes I had to make and some rules I had to violate in order to make it work for me for this um, month. But um, so let's get started here. Let me uh, let me move over so I can put the video over here for you. So there I am, yeah. So I grabbed a burgundy cardigan, uh, my kind of whiny red bag. No, they're not exactly the same color, but that's okay. They're all of a family. My Levi's, my leopard print shoes. Um, I tucked the sweater for a little bit of that structure that I was talking about, because I wanted some structure for this look. Uh, some rose gold earrings. Uh, snakeskin belt. Like I said, that belt gives a little bit of structure to an otherwise super relaxed outfit. And um, yeah, so I was really happy with it turned out. It's really kind of a perfect fall outfit for me. And it actually made me reflect back years ago. Oh my gosh, the first time we lived in Georgia, which was around 2000. So we're now talking 20 plus years ago. I had, I think three cardigan sweaters. They were V-neck cardigans and I wore them day after day. I wore them as a top, sort of like you see me wearing here. It's not an open cardigan over something else. I'm wearing the cardigan as a top itself. And um, I wore it then over a little tank because it was a lot lower um, and I couldn't wear it just would have been exposing myself, woo! Um, and that wasn't me then, it's still not me now. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm i thinking, ooh, if I had a couple more cardigans like this one, I could really, I could really do that a whole lot. That would definitely be an on repeat, kind of hashtag on repeat outfit. 
So yeah, uh, but about the sweater, I'm wearing it again today, as you can see here. Um, it turned out that I had no burgundy tops. Um, the sweater that I thought I was going to wear for today's um, copycat style look that I mentioned in the first part of the video, turns out, I'm not sure if it's just me being a little fluffier or a um, dry cleaning problem, or maybe it's a yes and. Um, but whenever I went to put it on, I looked like a little stuffed sausage and that was not a good look at all. So um, I actually ordered this from Amazon. I will drop a link below. Um, I could definitely see ordering this in a couple more colors if it wasn't that whole shopping fast thing. Because yeah, I would love to wear this. I Jeans, pumps, cardigan, tucked in. Yeah, I could do this quite a few times over. So um, yeah. Yeah, I can do this over and over again. Let me know what you think of the outfit. Are there pieces that you have that could make an outfit like this work for you? Let me know in the comments below. And as I mentioned in the first part of the video, I thought I would try with this jacket. So let's talk about that outfit. <laughs> Here we go. Not that I'm going to be able to wear it forever because, because faux fur coat and Georgia and it's going to be, I'll be lucky if I get to wear it in December. Um, but yeah, so here in this one, I just went for rather than the warm animal print shoes with the cool animal print jacket. Mm -mm -mm. So I didn't like that idea, but I did go for, so the jacket, the jeans, and then the wine shoes. And I kept the same bag, kept the same wine-y red bag to wear with the shoes. And again, no, the sweater and the shoes or the bag and the shoes are not a match. And that's okay, they don't have to be a match, but they are in the same color family. They are shades of a color. And so I like that effect. It's similar enough to feel right, but not so similar it feels matchy-matchy. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below, what is one of your fall on repeat outfits? Something you will wear day in and day out because it is just spot on for your personality style and super comfy and easy. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you want to see next month's copycat style, make sure to subscribe. Or if you want to see more about fall trends, because I'm gonna be talking about the belting trend in the next few weeks, um, how to make that work for different body types because not everybody has, I have a waisted shape, not everybody has a waisted shape, but lots of people like to do that belt thing. So we're going to talk about doing that for a couple of different body shapes. And um, yeah, we're going to be talking about fall style for, uh, fall colors for the cool palette people like me. Um, and uh, yeah, a whole bunch more about fall style and Ooh, and eventually I think we're gonna do a little one about packing for Thanksgiving travel because so many of us travel at Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm not traveling, but so many do. Um, so stay safe and sound sane and stylish. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all the goodness coming up. Uh, thank you for spending a few minutes with me today because your time is precious and any of you spend with me as a gift.